loves a woman, she becomes his weakness. When a woman loves a man, he becomes her strength. This is called an exchange of power. <laughs> <laughs> Not a very equivalent exchange. <laughs> this just in, heterosexual culture is still unappealing and weird. Women are harpies that are stealing my man strength in order to make themselves stronger. I saw one woman who had done this five times and could now bench more than me in the gym for she had taken my man strength. <gasps> Terrifying. <laughs> uh. So that's what we're looking at today, huh? <laughs> Welcome back, my beardos and weirdos. Today we're taking a look at r slash are the straights okay? And... I mean, spoilers. <laughs> Join me as we laugh at the straight people, I guess. <laughs> All right. Let's get started. <laughs> Make good for him. Patriarchal phenomenons. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Bear many kids for him. Patriarchal phenomenons. The result of a man's love is in her tummy. Oh! Ah! Babies! <laughs> oh, okay, that just came out of nowhere. <laughs> That scared me a little. <laughs> so, daddy's mommy working doesn't the pole have to? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, Danny's mommy working doesn't the pole have to? Okay. <laughs> Mums, it may come as a surprise, but your teenage son likely has a crush on you. Oh! <laughs> no! Oh! I don't know who wrote this, but you could not have told on yourself any louder. <sighs> you desperately need to expand your social circle quickly. <laughs> so churches are not essential, but abortion clinics are essential? <laughs> Got it. Uh, yes, because abortion is healthcare. Glad I could clear that up for you, Liz. 600,000 babies a year would disagree with you. Huh, okay. I could easily win a debate against 600,000 babies. <laughs> <laughs> Babies are historically bad at debates. <laughs> As a former baby, I can attest. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm working on an iPhone setting called Wife Mode. <laughs> it's for men when their wives are in the room. All the women's names in their phone get changed to men's. So let's say you're out driving with your wife and your phone is hooked up to the car. If you get a text from Amy, Wife Mode will change the name to Andy. <laughs> this is going to save so many marriages. Wife mode. I have doubts. <laughs> I'm gonna make the broad assumption here that this kind of app might appeal to people who are cheating. I don't know, maybe. And depending on the message that Amy sends, it might sound just as strange coming from Andy. <laughs> Oh, Barry, I had so much fun last night when you came to my house and we had such adult fun time in our bedroom scenarios. I hope you come out again tonight. Let me know if your wife isn't going to be home. Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Andy? <laughs> I tweet this every time men decide it's time to make decisions about women's bodies. But my ex-boyfriend thought all women got their period on the 15th of the month. He was 26 at the time. Oh no! <laughs> I once got another boyfriend to believe that birth control doesn't work if you have adult fun time twice in one day because the pill can only hold back so much baking material. <laughs> he was 32. The education system needs some serious assistance. Please just inject basic human anatomy into more television shows. I feel like that'll that'll at least expose more people to it. I'm just saying, but if Game of Thrones had a whole episode devoted to <laughs> women getting their period and being on the pill, <laughs> we wouldn't we wouldn't have forgotten that. <laughs> Guys, take notes. Bro, have you ever had an argument with your girlfriend? <gasps> no. Me and my <laughs> don't argue. She tell me to shut up and I do. Oh no. <laughs> this reminds me of the description of this subreddit. Are the streets okay? Is someone holding these poor souls hostage and forcing them to be together? Oh dear. <laughs> when your girlfriend is bipolar AF. Huh? You lying piece of shit. can't keep shit real. I'm sick of you. I don't give a f Babe? Yes? I love you. Sorry I was mad earlier. It's okay. Uh, is someone holding these poor souls hostage and forcing them to be together? Uh! Yeah, I blocked you, but did you email me? Stand outside my house with roses? Attach a note to a pigeon? No? <laughs> oh, okay. I guess you just gave up then. Hmm, your loss. 
<laughs> Bullet dodged? <laughs> this idea frames adult fun time as something that hetero women are subjected to rather than enthusiastic participants in. I get the point you're trying to make, but I have yet to meet a hetero woman who enthusiastically participates in adult fun time. <laughs> Imagine telling on yourself like this. Oh my goodness, Brad Anderson, keep your voice down. At least now the 1,005 replies you got and a bunch of quote tweets. At least, at least they can give you an idea of your missteps. Men that use monkey emojis or emotional crying ones in their whispers lose all credibility for me. No one can tell me different. Dang, fellas, you showed a digital emotion. I guess that makes you not a real man. I don't, ah, I like the monkey emojis. I like the, <laughs> I like the one that goes like this. <laughs> Ask your man, would you rather kiss the prettiest girl in the world for $700? Or would you rather kiss me for $100? And when he says, uh, you for $100? Start an argument with him by asking, so who's the prettiest girl in the world then, huh? Imagine handing your partner a more direct sign that they needed to leave. Oh, don't do this. This is, no. Using any emojis beyond smile, wink, devil face, always reads very feminine. Dang, are fellas just not allowed to use any emojis then? What the fudge? <laughs> Men, just no emotions for you, I guess. Hi, beautiful. Do you sell pics? Only pics of me crying. I got so many. As a man, I have a higher authority and a more valued opinion than you in society. And I'm asking you to stop degrading yourself and others and making a joke of everything. You do not have permission to share this DM publicly. I will take legal action. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> it's like he knew halfway through writing that message that he's really done messed up, but he couldn't stop himself. <laughs> and he had to tag that legal thread on the end. You goofed. Just own it. What's my name in your phone? <gasps> Wifey. <laughs> that emoji's giving me mixed signals now. Just like stress need to be released. Intense energy buildup within a woman must be released by giving birth to a new life. What? What? Ah! The most bitter and miserable people are the women who run. Woman, singular, people, plural, got it. <laughs> who run after money and remain childless. More she delays it, the more bitter she becomes. I can almost understand how someone could run so far off the tracks that they become this self-delusional. But five people read through this message and thought, yup. Are you okay? All the dudes and friends were basically chicks. Friends normalized men behaving like women. That was the beginning of the end of Western civilization. Oh dang, men showed their emotions once and that made them women? Yeah, it wasn't any of the wars, the wage theft, the mass incarceration, none of that! It was when friends showed emotions that one time. Oh, as a man, there's nothing hotter you could do right now than get a vasectomy. Stop trying to gaslight men into castrating themselves! That's not what that is. Those two things aren't the same things. You know, you can go and ask your doctor about any adult fun time questions you have. Or even Google. Oh no. <laughs> Women don't leave the kitchen. We all know a woman's place is in the home. Cooking a man a delicious meal. But if you are still enjoying the bachelor's life and don't have a little miss waiting on you. Oh my goodness. You mean a woman can open it? Oh my gosh. Most men ask, is she pretty? Not, is she clever? Is it always illegal to kill a woman? What the fudge? Keep her where she belongs. Next to your leather shoes, I guess. What were these advertisements? New York Post. Jealous woman makes her boyfriend FaceTime her for his entire 12 hour work shift. FaceTiming my boyfriend part two so I know he isn't flirting with. My boyfriend needs to FaceTime me his entire 12 hour shift. Not because I don't trust him, but because I don't. How do you have 12 spare hours to be watching him at work? Why would you want 12 spare hours just to watch him work? It's weird enough that it happened. It's stranger that they're posting about it. Women with longer index fingers are more likely to cheat. Ring index? Ah! Women with a longer ring finger are more likely to remain faithful. Ah. Oh my gosh, fellas. <laughs> I'm a cheating woman! <laughs> Get the fudge out of here. <laughs> ah, yes, the two genders. Blah. 
Sombrero. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> when my ex told me he cheated on me, so I took my out and threw it at his face. 1d4 poison damage. Slay, what? Slay, what a girl boss. Ace lover for this sister. Imagine, I want her. Bioterrorism, all I see is girl boss. I love this account. Isn't that a crime? I think it's definitely a crime. They are not okay. New airbags. We die like real men. Fellas, is it gay to make contact with the ball-shaped nylon safety bags? <laughs> <gasps> you got in a car accident and touched a ball? Gay? <laughs> How I feel about other women when I'm with my boyfriend. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. He looks so sad. Oh no. Morning. Never forget your pregnant and slightly crazy girlfriend's birthday again, boyfriend. <laughs> and yes, that is a big pee pee. Not because you have one, but because you are one. My next birthday had best be spectacular, or I shall not be accountable for my actions. Hmm. Holy fudge, run. Get out of there. Platonic friendship. What is it? And how to make it work. Healthline. Platonic friendship specifically refers to friendship between two people who could, in theory, feel attracted to each other. Oh, it's okay to not want to f your friends, you know? <laughs> Uh, straight person. I don't have a problem with you being gay. <laughs> as long as you don't hit on me. Me. Oh, don't worry. You are not my type anyway. Straight person. <gasps> that is heterophobia, and I won't stand for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's every time. Don't flirt with me, bro. Hey, it's fine. I will not. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> How to train your husband. No, it's how to train a dragon. <laughs> Jillian, a successful marriage therapist and best-selling author, attempts to fix her own marriage by focusing on how to change her spouse. Oh. Oh, no. Living with a bisexual husband. How to cope up with a bisexual spouse. Choosing this sexual orientation may vary from person to person. Oh. We cannot be sure about the reasons for bisexuality, but here are some hypotheses. I submit to you, 1999's The Mummy. <laughs> Number one. Oh, abuse. Number two, experimenting with both... Wait, what? Number three, lack of parental guidance. Number four, neglectful parenting. What the fudge? Number five, peer rejection. What is going on? Number six, need to be accepted and desired by both... What are you talking about? I know I made a joke, but you know people are born bi, right? That's just... <laughs> Now I see why you said choosing the sexual orientation. How to cope up. What the fudge? Teach your boys to be men before their teachers teach them to be women. All right, boy, you take the axe like this and with one punch up, you become a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was easy, I guess. <laughs> they say if a woman first child was a girl, most likely the mother needed some maturity. If she had a boy, she needed to know the real meaning of love. Who? Who the fudge would have said that? Why did you say it? Why would anyone say that? What does any of this mean? <laughs> Boys! Keep it secret. Okay. Girls! Keep it secret. Okay. 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 Huh. Get it? Girls be talking. Uh, uh. If men were to suddenly disappear from Earth, women wouldn't last long on this Earth. If women were to suddenly disappear, men would last until they all died off. Many more years than women. I can't imagine. <laughs> I love the differences between men and women. Yes, we need men. I don't know. I read Lord of the Flies. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if this logic is sound. I'll be honest. If you want to lose her, just pose for a photo with your head lower than hers. Handy is lower. <gasps> Handy is higher. <laughs> I remember this Twitter account. Oh my gosh. They post green lines on everything. <laughs> Do you remember when they put a green line on Jason Mimosa when he was leaning over the other person <laughs> lean in to share your photo with someone not a real man you're losing your frame no wife with a purpose smart women you could be a smart scientist or you could make six smart scientists which serves society better mm. i mean <laughs> by this logic you could make more than six smart scientists by being a teacher so which one serves society better wife with a purpose hmm 
Hmm. A checkmate, I guess. Reversing Roe v. Wade does not take away a woman's choice. She has a choice to say no, a choice to use protection, and a choice to behave herself. <laughs> to behave herself? To behave herself. <sighs> It may be time to start bringing back the official finger waggle of the channel. <laughs> no! The most you should spend on a date is 200 minus the girl's weight. <laughs> you want to be fat and gross? Okay. We'll see what we can do with 40 bucks. 160 pounds is an incredibly normal weight to weigh. What are you talking about? Someone tall and athletic who took a chance on you could easily weigh that much. Someone short and curvy who took a chance on you could easily weigh that much. 160 pounds is not an especially heavy weight. What are you talking about? Even people who fit into this weirdly specific metric you've made for yourself would not appreciate knowing that this is how you think about people. I can see why you gave yourself a crown, because no one else would put that on your head. Abortion? No. A Dorpion. Two letters that can save a life. <laughs> uh. I'd like to think that whoever did this, whoever printed this knew what they were doing. They knew what the person was asking for with this shirt was a little bit off the mark, but they decided I'm just gonna give them what they want. I found this absolute dumpster fire of a Facebook page today. <laughs> okay. A lot of truth here. Seven things your husband secretly wishes you would change about yourself. Written by a man. Oh no. Avoid these at all costs. Well, things that make your man lose interest in you immediately. These lines should never be crossed. Five things that are never okay in a marriage. Ladies, are you doing any of these things in the name of Love? Six things a woman should never do for the man she loves. One of the first questions women ask when they found out their husband cheated is, why? Nine reasons men betray their wives. There are some things you may be doing to stand in your own way and prevent yourself from being truly loved. Holy fudge, is anyone okay? Ah, she left me. So, I stole her inhaler. <laughs> Guess who can't breathe without me? <laughs> As someone with asthma, not being able to breathe is one of the most miserable things you can ever experience. That's terrifying. I have two boy best friends, and the moment they told me they have girlfriends, I distanced myself from them as respect to their girlfriends. I can't imagine that you actually cared about them beyond maybe wanting them, because you bailed on them so quickly. This says way more about your intentions than your attempted solidarity with their partners. Shame on you, Disney! Right there in people's face, and they don't even see it! Subliminal messaging at its finest! Uh... Disney. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> I bet you can't find the fourth object. Okay, apple comb egg mug. Here we go. Uh... Apple! No, I mean egg! <laughs> comb! Uh... Apple! I got it! Uh... Mug! What's going on over here? What the fudge is going on? Why? If you are a woman in a long-term hetero relationship and have lost the sexual spark, this is your sign to start learning about relationship polarity and how to stop being masculine and controlling of your man. 223,000 likes. Oh. <laughs> if you had a C-section, congratulations. You failed as a mother before the baby even came out. Real mothers push through it all. <laughs> You know, <laughs> C-sections aren't done for funsies, right? It's not just for a good time and a laugh. The doctor's not like, <laughs> would you like to have it just whoop, zip, zip locked out of there? <laughs> no, it's usually it's for health complications. What, what weird standards you have? What weird thoughts you have? Fake love. I love you. You are my life. You are my world. <gasps> True love. Block. Unblock. Block. Unblock. Oh, God. Oh, no! Never speak when your man is talking. Bow your head down until he says, speak. Hmm. No. Ah. Ew. Uh, I think we need to return to a system where women are considered property or their, or their father's husbands. Not only does the Bible say that this system would work better, it would also help curb the degenerate practices of women in modern society. Okay. Zero likes. Zero, none. Nobody, nobody liked this thought. This was a bad thought to have. You put it online. You went to see what people would think and they thought no. They thought no. And you put four hashtags, four, four times the visibility and people said no. 
I took my 11-year-old daughter to get a drink at Starbucks. We watched an incredibly handsome construction worker walk across the parking lot and into the store. Do you know what that little girl said to me? I don't know what he fixes, but mine is broken. Uh, this is very weird fan fiction to be writing about your kid. Ladies, if you find yourself always irritated by everything, it simply means you need to tap into your feminine energy because you are operating too much in your masculine energy. Working, handling everything on your own causes our masculinity to take over sometimes. Dancing, adult fun timey, cooking with love, being nurturing and kind and understanding, getting dolled up for no reason at all is our nature. It's all a balance. So if you're operating more in your masculine, you're off balance. Hashtag balance. <laughs> <laughs> when a man says he'll do anything for a woman, he means fight bad guys and kill dragons, not vacuum or wash dishes. Yeah, because he'd rather die than be slightly inconvenienced at home. That's your job, right? That's the implication? Fudge. <laughs> Help, I need advice. My fiance and I are having lots of issues right now. We can't stop fighting and I don't know what to do. I quit my job because wedding planning was taking up so much time and my fiance is refusing to get a second job. He doesn't understand that I don't have time to get ready for work, drive to work, be somewhere else all day and drive home. I need to be home to plan this wedding. I'm trying to find a job from home, but it is difficult. I asked him to get a second job and he won't. It really makes me mad because we are spending 80000 dollars 80 grand fudge what on this wedding and he keeps saying that we should spend less yes any reasonable human being would say yes uh hello no this is my wedding it's both of your weddings right you will both be in attendance i hope maybe maybe listen to your partner who you're trying to you know Mary? I have been dreaming of it since I was little, and I refuse to have anything but my dream wedding. How can I convince him to work a second job to pay for this? You don't have the money yet? Oh. Y'all, dating is hell. Stay safe out there. FaceTime me at 12 tonight. Oh, just FaceTime me. I'm doing homework, and sometimes I forget to check my phone. Ma'am. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> I don't follow women's lead. And the fact that you can't follow simple instructions shows your lack of respect for me. So I'm going to end it here. She gave you every opportunity in the world to act like a normal person. And this is what you did with that trust. <laughs> Why won't women date me? Also them. I... <laughs> it's like when playground bullies would grab your hand and go, stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. Except he's all alone in a room and he's just doing it with his own hand. <laughs> <laughs> Single bi people exist. Once you're married, you should no longer be bi. Imagine you're married to someone. You two have pledged your lives to each other. Till death do us part. And your spouse is like, I mean, I'm keeping my options open, you know. Like, obviously, I like my partner. But, like, men are kind of hot, too. <sighs> I teach man lessons. My wife teaches woman lessons. I will teach your son how to fight, bleed, and groan. <laughs> she will teach your daughter how to ballet, long hair, and pink. Call us before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's not real. <laughs> Somewhere on here is an FBI agent pretending to be an e-girl and a CIA agent pretending to be a soft boy, and they're trying to get the other one to commit an act of terrorism. Oh, God. Who need they? Eight. Oh my god, me! <laughs> so every time I show my boyfriend my baby bum, he does this. <laughs> my baby bum. <laughs> god, Aww. I know. Is that my baby? Aww. <laughs> Y'all are glowing. <laughs> oh, baby. Can I, can I touch you? Yeah. Aww. Oh my god. That's too cute. I, like, I, can't, I can't wait, baby. Like, <laughs> my family's growing. And you're doing an excellent job maintaining this pregnancy. Like, woo, baby, <laughs> you just standing right there. You just look so good at itself. Like, ah. Uh. <laughs> Can I hug both of y'all? Can, can you come a little closer? Oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. He understood the assignment. <laughs> I thought we could end it off with a nice wholesome one, you know? <laughs> because even though we're going through r slash are the streets okay, and it seems like so many of them are not, it's good to remember that it's not, it's not all of them. It's just a small number that are really not okay. <laughs> Thank you to Zachariah Brown for becoming a roommate of the channel. And of course, to become a roommate, all you have to do is subscribe. And then we officially share a Netflix account. <laughs> Alrighty, my beardos and weirdos. We'll see you in the next one, where we take it one topic at a time. Roll that outro.
Here for the boop? Alright, fine. Boop. Get out of here. <laughs>